Okay, we're going to have a flight here of the Sharper Image um, Lunar 14.4 inch FPV drone. Um, going to try a flight here. Take some video with the onboard camera, also with my 8 man A60 uh, full HD action cam. And let's give this a shot, see how it goes. Hit record. Uh, is it recording? I think so. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's real windy. Didn't realize that till just now. So we'll see. I don't know. Might be a short lived flight. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty windy. bump up the speed since the wind is so bad right now yeah the, I'll explain something about this this is a newer offering from sharper image it I don't know it's hard to explain it just seems like the flight controller or whatever flight board um, just I don't know it just seems weird there's full y'all Oh, get out of there. There you go. About lost it. Wind's blowing it. Blew it over that way. It's fighting the wind. Not doing real good at fighting the wind, but it's fighting it. I really don't know if this drone's a keeper, but the wind's probably 16 miles an hour right now, so can't really chalk that up on the drone. You have to chalk that up to the wind. The 16 mile an hour wind for a drone like this is definitely not something to try. I shouldn't even be flying it. I mean, I feel that wind hitting me good. You can just look at the drone and just tell it's struggling. Yeah, it's struggling real good. Whoa, yeah, see that? Yeah, wind grabbed a hold of it right there. And unfortunately, we got telephone lines or you know lines coming from the pole to my house makes it kind of hard to fly in the backyard here but if you're a good pilot you can uh, maneuver through it I'm not the best pilot definitely not a no vice but not a pro though Just giving it a shot and just trying to get a feel for it. This is only the third time I've flown it. Paid 80 bucks for it. You know, sharper image. Boy, they, they charge a lot for their drones. I mean, they overprice them. But I just like the look of it. I thought it looked pretty cool compared to the DX3 uh, and the DX4 kind of close to similar but they've changed the paint scheme a little bit half the front half is white the black half of the drone is black the front props are white the black props are black I'm gonna take the blade guard off eventually because I think it would fly better without it I mean that flies okay but I think it'd fly a lot better without the prop guard on it See how that wind is, I tell you, it's crazy. I don't even know the temperature outside, it didn't even look. I'd say 30s. <laughs> don't know that for sure. See, look at that. Yeah, it does not like wind. I'm hoping it'll be a little bit better in the wind if I take the prop guards off. I mean the prop guard. Because that thing's huge and that's got to add a little weight, you know. So... Let's try a flip and see. Whoa, wind. Strong wind that time. Oh man, it's fighting. Let's see if I can get a flip in real quick. That's a flip there. Let's do a side flip. Oh, 
Yeah, that wind trying to recover from that flip but it's like oh man did not like that yeah I'm not gonna take it high not in this wind it's, it's a ridiculous wind I'll probably keep this but honestly I mean the camera's good on it. I like the camera. You know, the video quality is decent. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's decent. You know, so I mean, it's one of the reasons why I want to keep it. And plus, if it wasn't 14 mile an hour wind, it would be fine. Whoa, come back. Yeah, I'm done flying. Time to land it. The wind's getting too ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, time to land. Let's go ahead and shut off the video to the drone. Okay, see if I can land it in my hand here. I'm gonna find the land button. <laughs> Got it. Okay, that'll be the end of this video. Like I said, it's a cool looking sharper image drone. I mean, I like the cool factor look of it. I think it might fly a little bit better if I take the prop guard off and then plus if I update the motors eventually. I think I might do that. Because I mean, there's motors out there that'll fit it that have more power. I might try micro motor warehouse and see if they got you know some motors that are identical in size and maybe slap them in because there's some pretty good motors they sell for all kinds of drones so I think it's yeah it's called micro motor warehouse I knew about them ever since probably 2015 they've been around for a little bit so I might try that and see how that works put some better motors in it and then first and foremost I'm gonna take the prop guard off and see how it does without it so Thanks for watching the video. Everybody have a good one.